Hello everyone, welcome to the algorithm series. In this section, we are going to learn about how to check whether a number is divisible by some other number or not. In this section, we are raising a question that is, we want to check whether a number is odd or even. So the problem is that we get a number from the user and check whether it is odd or even. When we run the program, the expected output will be when the user enters a number, it should display that that number is even or odd. Let's talk about the solution first. Let's talk about the logic. When it is about checking odd or even number, the first thing comes in mind is that is the number is divisible by 2 or not. If a number is divisible by 2, then it is an even number. So programmatically, we will have to check that the number entered by the user is divisible by 2 or not. If it is divisible by 2, then it is an even number. Otherwise, it becomes an odd number. JavaScript gives us modulus operator to check the divisibility. For example, if you give 45 modulus 2 here in the developer tool, here in the console screen, you will see that 44 is divided and the remainder is 1. So it returns 1. If I give 45 modulus 7, it returns 3 because 42 is divided and 3 is the remainder. So we will be using the modulus operator to implement this solution. Let's check in the coding. We'll get a number and we'll check whether it is odd or even. Now first thing is we need to get a number from the user. Normally we can have HTML page where we can put the input box and we can deal with the DOM. But because we are working on the algorithms part, we are not including, instead to get a number, we are going to use a function called prompt. This will ask a number from the user. So prompt and in the brackets, I'm going to say enter a number. Now prompt returns a string. So we need to convert the string into number. So what we can do is we can use a JavaScript function called parse int to convert the string into number. And that number we can store in a variable called n. So now we have a complete line that let n is equal to parse int which is going to convert the string into number and prompt is the command which is going to ask a number from the user. Let's first of all try to display and see whether it's working the way we are expecting. As you can see, it is asking for a number. Here I enter, let's say 45 and press enter. So in the console screen, you can see the output. Now we need to check whether this number is divisible by two or not. To check the type of control statement we use is the if condition. How do we write an if condition? So we say if and we open the brackets where we give the condition. The condition is n modulus 2. That is, is it divisible by 2 or not? We use the comparison operator because JavaScript also has strict equality that is 3 equal to sign which also checks the data type. So it checks the value and the data type. So we are using the strict equality operator. That's a best practice in JavaScript. I'm going to open the curly bracket. Of course, I need to finish the condition. So I will say if n is divisible by 2, there is no remainder. That means if it is 0, then we just want to display console.log. We want to display the value of the n and then we are going to join it with a string that is n is an even number. And here we are going to put an else condition where we'll display a message saying n 
is not n or we can directly say is an odd number. Let's run this code and see what is the output. Now it is asking for a number so I'll say 45. It says that 45 is an odd number. Let's run this again and we check it with an even number so I give 44. So now it says that 44 is even number. So this is a logic to check a number is odd or even.